Welcome to the tutorial. This is how I modded The Witcher 3 using The Witcher 3 Mod Manager. I have steps here. We're going to follow those quite simply, and I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible for y'all so you can get right into modding the game. If you have not already, check out Team Caffeine's video. He taught me how to mod The Witcher 3. So if you want another video using the same method, definitely give this video some love. With that being said, step one, you want to move The Witcher 3 from your Windows protected folder. To do that, you're going to want to make sure that The Witcher 3 is not in your program files or your program files times 86. What I did is put my game in a separate hard drive. Um, that way I will avoid the problem altogether. As you can see there, there is my game. Step two, you wanna create a new folder for your original mod downloads. So a new folder will be just a regular folder. I called it the Witcher 3 original mod downloads. Um, you can call it OG mods or whatever you like. And this will hold all of your downloads of when you download a mod. Um, this is just the zip file before you alter it or add anything or install it. This is where the uninstalled mods are. They sit in this folder so I can always refer back to them and reinstall them if I have to. I make sure to keep the original mod download folder in the same folder as the Witcher 3 game because I want to make sure that they're not far from each other and that I can always find them on a moment's notice. So if I need to hit my original mods, I can go here. Step three is to download the Witcher 3 mod manager and script merger. Before doing this step, I would like to make sure that you have your zip. So make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip or WinZip. Uh, I personally have WinRAR and 7-zip and I mainly use WinRAR. It will do the job for you. And that is the icon there on the web browser. You can see that when I'm in my original mod folder, the icons are already pre-configured. I can extract the file wherever I need to. Um, so when you install the Witcher 3 mod manager and script merger, you're going to have to extract the files, which is done through one of these zip softwares. On the page of the Witcher 3 mod manager, you're going to want to go to files and then you're going to go to manual download. It will bring you to this page. You're going to hit slow download unless you have premium and you paid for that. You can fast download, but slow download is just fine. Once you have this mod manager downloaded, you are also going to download script merger and that is done the same way you download manually and you would hit slow download. Both of the files should appear right down here. After the files are there, you may have them on your desktop. If not, I would recommend dragging it to your desktop um, or you can dr drag it right into the folder where you know you're going to extract it. Um, so where I dragged it was right into here. And I just right clicked on the manager and I ex hit extract here. So it extracted and then you would have your Witcher 3 mod manager folder. Step four is to place the Witcher 3 mod manager folder near your other mod folders for easy access. As you can see here, I have my Witcher 3 game, my Witcher 3 original mod downloads folder and my Witcher 3 mod manager folder which is extracted and it's right in the same place as all my other Witcher 3 main folder directories. Step five is to go inside your Witcher 3 mod manager folder and create a folder called script merger. I will show you what mine looks like. So here it is, script merger. You're just gonna create this folder and name it this. So inside of this folder you made, you're going to want to go inside the script merger download and you're going to look through WinRAR or whatever your extractive folder looks like. And you're just going to copy paste, you know, or right click and drag the files inside the script merger file. So as you can see here, these files are replicated here, the merger exe PDB and the merger right there. There are a few other, um, there are a few other files in here, but those are created upon using the software automatically. So um, step six is to open the Witcher 3 mod manager. So you're going to want to go into your Witcher 3 mod manager folder and you're going to want to run the application or create a shortcut wherever you like and run the application as administrator from the source of the shortcut. Um, 
Bam, so now that it's open, yours will not look like mine, most likely, um, because obviously there are a bunch of mods up in here, but we will get yours there. So you're gonna wanna go to your settings, and you wanna configure settings, and change game path. Welcome, please select your next dialogue. You're gonna hit okay, and you're gonna wanna go into your Witcher folder, into the folder where you have your Witcher game, you're gonna find your bin, your times 64, or wherever your Witcher 3 EXC application is. And you're going to select that and hit open. I'm going to cancel and it's gonna yell at me. I already made sure that I know where it is. So next, after you do that, you're going to want to go to your settings again, configure settings and change script merger path. So in your Witcher 3 mod manager folder, where you made the folder script merger, you're gonna go there and hit the script merger, which your script merger application, and then you're gonna to wanna to hit open. Um, I already configured that, so, so now we're gonna run script merger. It'll load merges. This may take a while for me because I do have a lot of mods for you. It may zip past very quickly. Um, the more mods you have, the longer these script mergers take because it's doing its job and making sure everything is in proper load order and everything is not going to conflict with each other. So there we go. Now that script merger has run, um, you won't see much of anything yet, but for me, I have one script that couldn't merge, but it's fine because the game still works and runs fluently and that's all we need. So while you're in script merger, you're going to want to hit file. You're going to want to hit options and make sure your settings look similar to this and you're just going to want to apply that if you do know what any of those settings mean you can configure your own although i recommend doing whatever is best for you next in script merger you're going to want to make sure you hit file again go to dependency locations inside this you're going to want to make sure everything is green if you downloaded the version we did everything should be green but if not you can download from these blue links here and then to set the path so it knows where to find it you would just hit the three dots and go into your folders and find what everything is looking for if everything is green you should be good to go and you can close out of that after that you can go ahead and close script merger for the most part we are set up but i want to make sure that you know what things do so you can add a mod by hitting add and setting the path to your Witcher 3 original mod downloads folder. Basically, whenever you add a mod to your Witcher 3 original mod download folder after downloading, it will appear here. All you have to do in a lot of cases is just hit a file and hit open, and then it will add the mod for you. Upon adding the mod, it will prompt you to run script merger and you can use, usually hit yes, and it will run it and get everything done for you that way. You can remove a mod by clicking on it and hit remove and you can toggle a mod by hitting the box which will not remove the mod but it will turn the mod off and you will rerun script merger and then your mod will be off so as you can see here i have this mod off um and i don't really need it on at the moment so that way if i want it back on i could just hit it because i thought maybe one day i'll put it back on another tidbit i have for you all is to read all readme files that any mod has so what i'm going to do is show you how i would install a mod the quick way um, and that will hopefully give you an idea on how i do things um, this is a mod i do not have yet and i think would benefit me and this is a world map fixes mod by turg 500 so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to files and manual download the mod you need hearts and stone, make sure you have that. So we're gonna slow download that. And while the mod is slow downloading, right there, it should be very quick. I'm gonna go back and read the page on what compatibility the mod has. You should do this beforehand as well if you are downloading a big mod. I know this mod is most likely not too big, so that's why I am just going to go ahead and read it now. So it isn't compatible with the E3 UI and HUD mod. It should be compatible with any other mods. 
to install when it's usually something very quick and straightforward like place the mod file into the mod directory usually you can add it right away um, through our mod manager and i will show you what that is like so the mod is downloading here we'll let it finish boom so the mod has downloaded so the first thing i'm going to do is throw it into my original mod directory bam and it's going to be highlighted world map fixes so now that that's done i'm going to go into my mod manager i'm going to add a mod we're going to go down to w world map fixes we're going to hit open after changing it's going to prompt me to run script merger and i will hit yes every time very useful and i'm glad it does that to be honest we're going to let it detect any conflicts with any other mods bam and if it gave me no conflicts with that specific mod, I should be fine. You do not need to worry about the bundled non-text. I ignore that. That usually means nothing. Merges over on the right hand side show you all the merges you have already done. And here in conflicts, you would normally click on the top and it will in order merge all the proper conflicts and you would hit create two selected merges. Um, as for me, for some reason, these two mods do not fully merge, but I am very fortunate that the game still runs and the both mods uh, behave. So if you are in a predicament like that, you do not have to worry and you can run the game as is. But even still, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, the, the rights already exist, as it says. I just hit a bunch of OKs and make sure everything looks good going to detect more conflicts and it it should still show the conflicts there um in in a perfect scenario no conflicts should be there at all um that way your game runs smoothly my game fortunately runs smoothly but this is just a rare case where as you could see the mods still the scripts still show some little error there but in a nutshell that is how you quickly mod the witcher 3 using the witcher 3 mod manager to run the game you would just hit run the game and we've already set up the path for that so you can run the game every time from here or from the witcher shortcut and to manually install a mod you may find yourself in a place where you want to manually install a mod sometimes mods can only be installed manually and not through vortex so i will quickly show you how to do that basically you're going to want to go to your witcher 3 game folder so inside the witcher 3 game folder you're going to want to open to your mods folder if this does not exist create this folder you want to make sure you have a mods folder and you can drag the mod file into here make sure that the mod file is already extracted or you have went into the mod file and grabbed it and dragged it in like that usually um, the running theme for these mods, it will say mod and then um, the text after. So as you can see, like mod jump in shallow water, mod monster pack, mod more transparent menu. So usually this file is what you would use to manually install a mod, although mods do often require extra steps. So make sure every single time you go to install a mod, you give it a quick read over at what mods are compatible and what mods also require other steps.